It's who I made, nigga. Who that? Oh, that's the big man. And he's been here on the campus. What you should concentrate on is how to be just like him. I keep his money making. I keep his women waiting. I keep his gangsta banging. I keep his haters saying, Oh, yeah. Round here on campus. Him and his damn good. He's a big man. Shit. Look, Omar. <laughs> I'm winning. Oh, he teeing off. Hey, he teeing off. Oh, that's so fun. This ain't the roast oh, yet. This ain't the roast. Omar, face ass. Oh, snicker, look at that. Man, don't do and we that. Cuss on him? Yeah, yeah. We oh, can we can cut. That nigga look like a snicker with a camping. hat on. <laughs> you in the camp? Who? Oh. What'd you say? Cheeseburger? <laughs> Cheeseburger? That's right. Oh, man. Man. How you doing, like said, man? It, 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 it's good to re-meet you. Yeah. Bless. Bless. Hey, you know what? We was remember we uh met up at the fish spot. Definitely. Yeah, I'm just man, I think at I was the fish already spot. hammered at the fish spot, but I remember some love at the fish spot. Hey, like, and then and then of course at the show. Yeah, but you was up there hosting, I man. I'm you, I, you I was up I there hosting, so you couldn't really be in the crowd and see what was really going on. And then towards yeah. the end, we uh took a took a picture. Yeah, so that's what that yeah. was. So I, yeah. family, I got those. Yeah. So you that's so you family. probably won't you probably won't remember because it was just a lot going on every time me and you was around. Well, then a little fight broke out. A little fight had broke out. So you know they had your senses out. No, that was up. actually that was just a con that was just a confrontation of words. It wasn't no yeah physical yeah fight. yeah. Just okay, was just a, a commotion. commotion. Yeah, yep. that was just. Yep. You know, some people sticking Absolutely. up for their family type of thing, and you know, it is what it is. But I'm hey, on the I was the nigga. Style. Look, listen, I was the nigga. I literally was one of the, the main the nigga that went up and said, "Man, get!" I got the security and told everybody, "Hey, it's going down in here. Y'all need to do your job." Because you feel <laughs> me? Because that's my nigga right there, and that's respect. I want to make sure his shit go right. It was our. It yeah. was me and his shit. Yeah, yeah, I love that man. You feel me? Good looking out, bro. You feel I me? Love that. So, yeah. so you know, but it, it, hey, hey, I was now, we, now we have a formal, better, uh, 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 you know, meeting. So good hey, to meet hey, you hey, again. Hey, uh, bro. hey, this like my this like my brother, man. That's like my brother. Brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was telling you, man. So I'm the same sentiment, bro. I'm saying you know, sentiment. We, we we go back many moons, man. Many yeah, moons, bro. man. That's my bro. Five damn near, you know, type shit. Yeah. I can't wait to uh, link up, man. April third, bro. It's up, man. It's up, man. Hustle no obstacle daily, making all dollars equal. Y'all with us on the campus media room show, y'all. It's your host, Mr. James Van Crump, and Willie Crow, the comedian. What's happening with y'all this evening, y'all? What's, what's going up, down, Willie? What's up, man? You know I'm chilling, man. I'm grateful. Humble and blessed, man. I'm just happy to be in the, on the campus. You know what I mean? Oh, campus, man. We got to be some bad boys on campus, man, uh, tonight. We got uh, a couple of guests tonight, man. But uh, the first one, um, you know, is a, real, is a real close friend of mine. That's my brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's my fam. Uh, you know, that means shit, man. That's my brother and my cousin. All in one. Wrapped up in a family. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, yeah. that type of shit, man. Boda Hustleholic. Shout out to Boda Hustleholic. Hustleholic, where y'all check that out. Check him out. Most and y'all going to be seeing him here shortly, man. What's been going on with you lately, though, bro? Man, everything been good, man. The word just now opening back up, man. We come out, man. Everybody getting the vaccine. What do you yeah. think about this vaccine they got everybody getting, man? Man, you know what? Uh... <laughs> I just know that um, there's three of them now, and they're talking about making four of them. You know what, what you mean? mean when you say three of them? And there's three about different vaccines, four. bro. What different companies making yeah, the same vaccine? Three vaccines. different companies. They got the Pfizer, they got the Moderna, they got the Johnson and Johnson, and they got somebody else that's on deck. Ready to come through. You, you said Johnson I mean? and Johnson. Yeah, the people that make the baby lotion, bro. I got a history, but that sounds familiar, man. But I ain't I don't think I'm messing with it, bro. Yeah, we're gonna me. talk about it. We're gonna talk about For it. Sure. We got uh we got little Willie Crow in the building tonight. Uh you man, know. he been waiting to get some camera time. Come on, man. Tell the people bring, bring stuff, man. We got Zeke in the building, y'all. 
we got Zeke in the building. This young nephew right here, y'all. This right here this is a superstar, a businessman, and a mogul in the making. Y'all better watch out for him. You know what I mean? Man, you ready for that, Big Zeke? You ready for it? Uh, he ready yeah. for it, man. He didn't say, I don't know. He didn't say maybe. He said, yeah. He's he ready, ready for it, man. I'm going to take him at his word, man. That's the future. Yeah. We had a show. Uh, Was it last weekend already? Yeah, it was last weekend, man. We the the We Too week. Funny comedy show, yeah, bro. Yeah, man. Featuring uh, Joe Hill. Yeah, yeah, Joe Hill. Shout out to Joe Hill. New York, New York. You know what I'm saying? Big New York in the building. You, you know already I mean? know. Yeah, uh, we had like, Anthony Crawford from Denver. Anthony Crawford, shout out. Anthony real Crawford. funny, real funny. Um, headline: Jay Sing Media. Jay, Jay Sing Media, man. A brother out of New Jersey, he <laughs> killed it. Hey, man, man, you better get your shit together. When he say Jay Sing Media, <laughs> it's every bit of it, man. He yeah. is that every bit of it, man. I loved him, man. It was a great performance and great show. Yeah, yeah, man. Hood huh, Man University. Everybody in there, they said they enjoyed the show. Uh, and for me personally, man, that was one of my funnest shows that I've had in a long time. It's fun as a word, bro. Nah, you can have it, though. <laughs> we, man, we had a university, bro. We just said what we want to say. Yeah, man. We, we made the rules, baby. Yeah. The deans man. said that it works. Man, so it worked. Good, you know what I mean? Huh, man? You're funny. Hustling, hustling over obstacles daily, making all dollars equal. And Omaha is up next. You know what I mean? Definitely, we in Omaha next, man. What's the name of the show, man? Eight, uh, April third. No, I know the date, but oh, the name, name of the show. Yeah. We came to make you laugh. You the got series. it. You got it, man. Yeah. I'm the host with the most Willie Crow, man. I'm gonna be holding it down, doing my thing in the building. We got an amazing lineup coming to you, Omaha, Nebraska. I'm looking forward to coming. This is my second time. In Nebraska. In Nebraska, yeah. What yeah. we did the show at before? Uh, at the uh, Soco Hall. Me and Boda also Hall like, threw it down uh, at the Soco Hall. It was uh, February February of uh, 2020, man. Right before the shit hit the fan. Yeah. yeah. You, know what you I mean? and both been holding it down, huh? Yeah, bro? man. Me and both been holding it down forever, man. That's my brother. I love that dude to death. Bro. I like that, you man. It's I mean? good to see brothers sticking together, man, with, yeah. with longevity. Because yeah. you know how people change. Yeah. Situation change. They do change. Money the change. Situations the money change and man. all of that shit, man. But I can tell you one thing for sure and for solid that me and Bo, we live in different cities. We live in different states. Yeah. But we came up, you know, like this shit here. And we might even, you know, be like, man, what the fuck, man? On one another every now and then. Every now and then it happens. But it never changed the love that we got for one another, man. That's my brother. Love stay the same. I you know like I mean? that. For I real, can't man. wait, man. I That's can't how wait, man. Should go. Who we got uh, for April 3rd? April 3rd, who do we got? Me, of course. You know. <laughs> 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 Willie Crow in the building. Hold it down. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. You got Willie Crow, the host with the most holding it man, down. Man, I'm definitely going to be holding it down, man. Uh, but here we got yeah. on the Star Nikki Carr. Nikki Carr. Nikki man. Carr from Last Comic Standing. Nikki Carr. Bro, I did a show with Nikki Carr in like uh 2017. It was a St. Patrick Day. No, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Y'all black yeah. in the motherfucker. Y'all did St. Patrick's Day together. Hey, you gotta get that money, man. <laughs> I know that's get right. Get that money. I know Spend that's right. it fast. I now, I'm talking about y'all black as fuck. <laughs> No, nah, man, come on, man. <laughs> we all black as fuck, man. Hey, I was telling, I was telling Bo right now. Remember, uh, backstage, it was like, man, you got to be in the light, bro. Yeah, get them straight. I'm a we different all type of black. We all, nah, yeah. I'm a different type of black. When people see me, they don't believe. I'm just from Georgia. You know what I'm saying? They think I'm from Africa, Jamaica. I'm that kind of, that, that deep black. You feel me? I can almost be purple. But yeah, I love yeah. It. Black Boy, is beautiful, baby. Uh, like he is beautiful, man. Salute. We got um, with a Nikki Carr. We got you hosting. We got my man Al Dipmore. Al Dipmore. Where Dipmore from? You know what I mean? from L.A. Bro. Man, LA. Al Dipmore coming straight from L.A. Straight homie. Out of you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Al Dipmore boys in the hood, man. That motherfucker straight up. You know what I mean? Yeah. He he's somebody uncle from boys swap in the hood. Shit. To okay, come out me. there on that porch yeah. and just have everybody cracking up. All the homies in the hood look out for Al Dipmore 
because that's the that's the big homie to come out on the porch and have us cracking up. You know what I mean? Show no. I did more was on BET Comic View though, so you may have seen them there. You know, and uh, uh, your local swap meet or your local swap meet. You know, Cali Big. That's that they started the swap meet thing, yeah, right? That's yeah. the culture of it. Yeah, that's the Cali, culture. When you think of California, you think of the swap meet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where meet. Al I Dipmore, love it. That's where Al Dipmore is coming from. You know what I mean? Straight out of Cali. Baby. Uh, real funny cat, man. Salute and shout out to Al Dipmore, L.A., California, in this place. Um, we got um Piper the comedian. Pipes, I missed him. Mm, you he, did, he man. Here. I missed and him, I'm bro. really excited for y'all to be able to work together and for you to see I'm what excited everybody else saw. I'm excited to it myself, man. man. I can't wait. You know that name been lingering ever since that show. Yeah, but number great reviews, man. Nothing but great reviews, man. Nothing but great number reviews. Great reviews. You know what I mean? So it's going to be real dope, man. And then we got El Stupo. El Stupo. From Wild and Out. El Stupo. You know what? Uh, they need to put him on while and out is what they need. The 85 South L Stupo. No, the one that's been doing work rocking with 85 South. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, they ain't put him on while and out, but they need to. They's gone. Wild and out gone. You catch while and out somewhere, man, or uh, not, excuse me, not while and out, it's but uh, the 85 South yeah. show out somewhere, you might see L Stupo. In the building Definitely. with them. You might Definitely. see him. That's the first one to come up. And if they say El Stupo from Omaha, Nebraska, best believe that's that fire ass El Stupo from Sound Omaha, like Omaha Nebraska. Nebraska got a lot of great stuff coming out of there, man. Don't man, it? it really does, man. I, mean, I like it. NFL players and NBA players alike. People don't come realize up. how black Omaha, Nebraska really <laughs> like, is, bro. No, they don't realize it, man. They don't realize it's black as fuck. Like black is F A W K, black is fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that type of stuff, man. So it's a perfect time to segue into it, yeah. And go ahead and bring in our first guest from the, uh, for the night because we're talking about Omaha and how black or how cultured it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. For so sure. without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, everybody on campus. Here at LMA University uh, TV, uh, the uh, campus uh, uh, media room show. I want to make sure that everybody, if you at home right now watching, which you are, stand up off of your couch, get up, have a good time, clap your hands, put your hands together, because we're about to bring in Bo. The hustle holly. What up, what up, what up with you, man? What's up, my dude? How, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, man. Welcome to the Campus Media Room show, bro. Yes, sir. I'm glad, to have, glad you had me. Hey, man, we are just sitting here talking about Omaha, Nebraska, and how black it was. Man, you got ground level right there, man. You on the ground right now, man. Try to be more about Omaha, man. Hey, we stay moving, man. We moving. Hey, hey, nigga, it's like little uh, Africa where I'm at. Oh, little yeah. Africa, little, little Mexico. Oh, that's yeah. all that. Right Wrapped now. up in the one. <laughs> the diversity. For real. Yeah. I'll be Sorry. telling people, the mailman black, the, the librarian <laughs> is black, the dude at the gas station is black. <laughs> Especially on the deuce, nigga. That's the yeah. original black mecca of Omaha. They're yeah, trying to yeah, build it. Yeah. So let's let's hope we can get a piece of it, right? Hey man, outside of uh, Nebraska, really mm -hmm. outside of Omaha, people don't know what the deuce is. Break that down for them, bro. Mm -hmm. Tell them about the deuce and uh what, what the deuce even means. What is deuce, short boss. for? <laughs> the deuce is short for uh deuce foe, 24th street, which is a main uh street originated you know, from the beginning of Omaha. It used to be the out west of Omaha back in the early, 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 and then Omaha grew, and shit, the Deuce was like a place where uh, everybody from Cab Calloway to uh, all the, you know, the jazz cats that used to, you know, come through here. It was a rich, rich in tradition of music yeah. in the yeah. 20s, 30s, 40s, until they burnt it down Yeah, when all the riots went on, and that, yeah. you know, it's like a been a black cloud kind of over over certain parts of the city since then, but we still shine through though. You feel yeah. me? We still shine through. Yeah, oh. We still shine through, baby. Yeah, yeah, that was well said. So articulate, my brother. <laughs> like you took me there. I saw four dudes. 
I do know. I, do. I, do. <laughs> <laughs> I was just in the dude's phone, man. Yeah. Thank hey, you, man. You know, just like any other prosperous economic situation that goes oh. on, go up and down. And yeah, there were some, there's, like I said, some dark times that would come upon us and in certain areas, just like anywhere else, just like where you from, where I'm from, economic depression and, and there's certain things coming to the neighborhood. But like, like we said, man, our job is to shine through it and show others how to shine through it. You feel me? You're yeah. right. You're yeah. right. But well said, brother. I couldn't have said it better. That's what we got. Say, so, hey, check this out, man. Um, why don't we tell the people a little bit about Bo the Hustleholic and the Hustleholic wear that you got sporting right now? Okay. Uh, well, me, myself, Bo the Hustleholic, um, uh, you know, your favorite your rapper's rapper for a long, you know, the last decade and a half plus, you know, what? let's say that. Yeah, <laughs> let's what? But, but not, only as a, not only as a rapper, but uh, uh, just an entrepreneur, a promoter, a uh, business owner, a contractor, you know, um, just man of many hats. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I, my passion is music and, and just bringing people together. So that's what we do. Yeah. 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 Oh, holy shit, ain't no joke, man. It's, it's, not, a a it's not a moniker. That's uh, that's that's really yeah. this brand, this man right here, man. This brother hustles. He embraces the hustle. Hey, so, man. Yeah, man holy shit, it's, not, it's not made up. That's him. Yeah. Yeah, and, and really, man, uh, the hustle hall that came from me um, really being on probation, being on paper, and really, I really wasn't an alcoholic like that. I could stop, you know, and I really, I, I love my, you know, the talk, but at the same time, I stopped yeah. every year for no reason to this day, just because I didn't yeah. think, you know, and that taught me self-control over yeah. my, my over, you know, over line of but, yeah. but at the end of the day, it came from me not being able to stop hustling. I took me from the shit that I was on probation for, I took that and put my energy into the le more legal shit. Let's say that you know, not legal shit like that, but more businesses, more ventures. Yeah, yeah. and and it worked. And uh, I, shit, I've been full steam ahead ever since. So that's why I, I try to just do different things that's gonna bring, um, you know, different things that's gonna bring the streams of income in at the same time. So that's where it came from. And I literally couldn't stop and still can't stop to this day. Basically hustling, but I try to howl it. Yeah. You are yeah. howl it when you That's say I, I feel love it, stop. bro. I love that, man. Yeah. Stop, stop, bro. It was from uh, me being on probation and and uh, uh, saying all these people was having these addictions. And at the end of the day, that was my addiction. So I have to turn it okay. into something positive. Yeah. I'm a, just burn a hole in the ground going until I can't stop no more. For real. <laughs> Really? We'll get you another fist on that one, Bo. <laughs> I love I'm, that, bro. I'm enjoying them. You know the that. Campus, that's the campus salute right there. Oh, we got man. something new. That's the campus salute right yeah, there. Man, 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 that, I appreciate that, man. But that's yeah. real shit. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Most sure. definitely. Yeah, Google that shit, bro. Just Google that. Google me and him. Google Google me. That's all I can say. I don't like the hey, really what's, what's your other handles? You got any handles? Social media handles? Drop them, bro. Okay, well, shit, I got, the, of course, Facebook, Bo Hus Bo the Hustleholic. I got uh, uh, YouTube. Just look up Bo Hustleholic. There's like two of them. Look up, uh, go to Shopify. I'm, on, I'm not Shopify. Um, I actually am on Shopify, but go to Spotify. Bo Hustleholic, Bo the Hustleholic. Uh, Instagram, Bo the Hustleholic. Uh, what is it? Uh, Twitter, Exclusive Sound. No, uh, Twitter is uh, uh, Hustleholic402. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Instagram already said that, uh, uh, uh yeah, Twitter, so, uh, you got .com. go to hustleholdware.com, join the email list, and you get discounts on clothing. And the clothing, you can pick the colors. We got a whole bunch of shit for ladies. The uh, sweater, bro, what the sweater starting at, man? This right here is starting at uh, 30 dollars. Hold on, let me 30 down. What's that? that? That's the hustleholic flea sweater. What you? Yep, it's what it is. It's a uh, yep, a hustle holly fleece. They got the top and the bottom thirty a piece, plus shipping. You feel me? And then uh, then the hats. We got the hats for twenty, plus shipping. You know what I mean? Some of them are twenty five. You go online, it ranges from twenty to thirty five dollars. What you inspired know. you, man? To, to do clo a clothing line, like just to put your hand in clothes. Like, were you always a fashionable guy growing up, or you you, didn't <laughs> want, you saw it, you wanted it, like? 
Well, at the end of the day, this started out as a merch line from me doing music and doing all these shows, traveling on the road. And he already know. I I'm actually I got inspired from my guy right here doing the hood made uh, shit because okay. I never really think I was gonna wear it that serious. And I, and I, and a few years ago, I decided to do that full steam ahead with the with the actual um, with the actual clothing line. But yeah. it just came from me expanding and just shit looking, you know, looking at. Uh, you know, from everybody from Jay Z to Puffy to all these cats to just people that, that I knew locally that, uh, you know, uh, uh, was lucrative to get the clothing going. So I said, why not tap it? At least the culture you know? inspired you, yeah. yeah. So, so at the end of the day, I turned a merch line into. I'm trying to turn it into a brand. Yeah. You know, a, a household brand. I you know? Yeah, I can dig it, brother. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just like you know, and it's nothing too. Um, it's more so of a casual t-shirt line than what it is, but we're about to expand and be doing art. And um, also I got a honeywear that uh is about to take off. We're gonna Did do a whole honeywear, yep. And we got hustle holic wear, then we're gonna have we got honeywear, we just been kind of dabbling, but that's about to take off, and it's gonna be uh from women to little girls. You know, it's gonna be a oh, honey, 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 honey wear. Okay. Okay. Yep, honey wear. So that's going going off to that's just an expansion of hustle holic wear. And you know, when you advertise to the lady, they the ones that buy it. You know I what know. I mean? I think I that's brilliant, Bo. You got you that right, name, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. He keep doing his thing, man. That's why he the hustle holic. Hey, check this out, Bo. We about to go to a commercial break. We be back in like 20, maybe 30 seconds, bro. Just sit tight. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back with you. Yes, sir. The Campus Media Room Show, y'all. Omaha, stand up! Omaha, stand up! Omaha, stand up! Omaha, stand up! What well, may hustle over obstacles daily making all dollars equal? You are with Mr. James Van Crump and Mr. Willie Crow, the comedian. This is the Campus Media Room Show. And our guest right now we have is Bo the Hustleholic. Bo the effing Hustleholic of all Nebraska. Stand up. What's happening, man? Stand up. Hold on, my man. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga still up. <laughs> Do I look fried? Because I can't tell. Because the lighting, I look. I think I look fried. Man, you look handsome as shit, bro. <laughs> handsome as shit, my brother. Well, thank yeah, you. Man. You good? You good, man? <laughs> Nigga, the cap is salute. Yes, sir. Because the lighting got me looking fried. Like, God damn, I look. Do I look fried? <laughs> we need What's the lighting, you? man. We you on campus, man. You good, brother. Yeah, you on campus, you on man. Campus, we man. big men on campus anyway. They don't care how fried we look or how fried we are. You know what <laughs> nah, I mean? But I'm looking into the camera like the boogeyman and shit. Like I'm looking through a... I feel like I'm looking through a peephole. <laughs> yeah, he fried. He fried. <laughs> yeah, that's fried. Yeah, he fried. <laughs> <All right, brother. laughs> <laughs> don't go watch the face. You gonna start watching your face? Yeah. <laughs> Do I have to the shadows? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so check this out, man. Fighting this shit. What the hell is this thing? Fuck that. Check this out, man. Um, yeah. Give us a little, um, a little background on some of the people that you worked with or yeah. booked. You know, to come in for shows, man, because you done done both. You done have features on some of your songs. You done book people for concerts and shit, man. Give us a yeah. little bit on the resume of both of us. All <laughs> see what this man yeah, talking about. Yeah, 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 we're ready for that. Like I said, I don't like to, I don't brag. I just spit facts, right? Yeah, hey, that's, gonna be, that's gonna be my new clothing. Uh, one of my new clothing. I don't brag. I just spit anyway. Uh, yeah, but you're in a safe place, bro. Yeah, you're in a safe place. In a That's safe what we place, do on bro. campus, man. Yeah. That's what we do okay. here on campus. <laughs> All right, guys. But anyway, no, it's uh, it, it goes way back, man. When I first really came into the game full steam, uh, I wanted to come in, um, you know, with a with a force a little bit, and for people to take me serious. Because uh, first of all, I uh, uh, shouts out to like full clip black guy K Mac. 
uh, Lucky Brown, Velo, Kudro, all of them was kind of like my people I looked up to. You know what I mean? That I rapped with and sat there with for years and just soaked up game, didn't even rap like that. You know what I mean? So, so I like, all of them, first of all, then I start doing features with LB, yeah, LBs from Full Clips and you know, uh, black guys. And, and I said, well, let me, if I come into the game, let me just put all these guys together that I looked up to and the guys that's coming up. Right. Which, yeah. which was, which was everybody from, from two to, to, uh, uh, L Mac for damn show. You know what I mean? Shout out to two. To Oja, you hear me to a black guy, you know, to fight be free did all the guys, uh, guys from over South Easter and them. So I started, I said, well, shit, man, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna take this, be taken serious. Let me put some bread behind it. Come right in the game. Put everybody together, and then we all shine. And let me drop a couple uh, songs on this compilation. That's back when compilations was big. You feel me? Right, right, when, right. When, yeah. when the West Coast had their compilations, uh, when the, everybody was just dropping compilations. So I said, well, let me jump into the game. Yeah. You know, unless you know, I just say I wasn't broke. You know, so I was able to kind of. Jump in the game, not to say I cheated the game or nothing, but I said, well, actually, I, I put, um, you know, I contributed to the game because I, you know, stimulated economies by not only putting CDs out there, but throwing parties and and and, and getting and paying. I actually paid niggas uh, to perform and shit. I paid everybody from Black Guy to Doja to and nobody was doing that. I said, let's go get this big ass venue. Let's, uh, I'm gonna pay you niggas. Y'all niggas gotta show up. Boom, show out, and that's what happened. We packed it, South Beach. You know what I mean? Um, South, South Beach. That, that was big place. That was my first uh, um, time that I could say where I, I was like, okay, now I'm in the game per se, for real. You know. But before that, I was collabing with a lot of them guys. Like I said, and it built up to that. And I jumped right in, boom, big old players, and Bo and V-Load, and big old players, too, then all the mixtapes. You feel me? But yeah. I didn't not only – I mean, I could go on and on, bro. But I got and then, and then you know, as I as I kept going, uh, you know how people uh, go their separate ways or whatever. So I've I've done thing. Velo was my first uh real rap partner per se. Besides, yeah, yeah when I took rapping real serious, this cat named v Velo. Shouts out to uh, Velo the Slugger. Uh, the Velo. Velo. Yes, Velo. 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 and then um. You know, Luck had moved. Luck had took a vacation. Let's just say that my guy Luck, Lucky Brown, shouts out to Luck. Uh, to Notch. Notch Productions, Top Notch Productions, Notch Productions. Notch. Not <laughs> anyway, so and then it went. To, okay, I had got a uh, when I put out Big Old Players. I don't know if y'all remember Looney Coleon from uh, yeah, Looney Coleon. Yeah, Looney Coleon. Yeah. You see, I got him off the back of my chair yeah. real fast. <laughs> Yeah. When I came into the game, doing the doing the compilation, you know, getting doing songs with the, the people I looked up to here, I said, "Well, let me do a song with somebody I look up to, and they gonna really take me serious." So I, I had a, uh, uh, and mind you, I was I got into promotions at, at the same time, so I had went in on a, 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 a Looney Colleone concert. Excuse me, with my guys from Platinum Promotions back then, but now they doing different things. I know, damn you, nostalgic right now. Yeah. yeah. So that was that was uh white. They they doing stuff with White Rhino uh right now, but it used to be called Platinum Promotions. They put me on some shows and was like kind of showed me the game as far as you know with actual artists because I was already throwing parties, rapping and all that, but shit, boom. So at the same time that I was doing big old players, I shit we I started doing promotions. Like Mike Jones, Paul Wall. Uh, chameleon year, twist um, year, you like in 2000, 2000, early 2000, early 2000s, mid 2000s. Boom, I got a song with Looney Coleon, put it on the big old players compilation, and then I also got a song with uh, uh, I paid, paid Messy Marv and paid uh, Marvelous to, to, to and all it. this was out of Omaha. You was in yeah. Omaha, yeah. Yeah. look it up, big old players compilation, big old players. The with big old means big old, big old, big old. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You know, players by uh compilation volume one and two. That's you know, that's kind of some throwback, but it's still quality music to this day. A lot of the cats are still putting it putting in work in the music industry as far as I mean, you know, in the in the in the um independent scene as far as um uh two uh Lime Easy, L Mac, all them cats are still you know putting in work. Uh, 
my my guy J Love from uh, J Real from uh, 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 Afterlife. You know what I mean. A lot of people still putting in work, whether it's music or promotions or or content. You know, uh, but yeah, I could go on and on, bro. Like you know, I'm really not trying to brag, but I'll just go oh, let everybody know. Oh, oh, yeah. when you, music. you feel me? Huh? Uh, what was the biggest show and what was your biggest song to date? I say the biggest uh, show. What you mean as far? What if, I say the biggest. When I say shows, I'm talking about the venue. How many people you had there? Uh, we did. Um, let's see, I performed in front of a, a, a thousand people or close to a thousand people a few times. And then I, I performed out of town in front of probably 3,000, 2,500 people out in uh, Minnesota. It was like a festival. Minnesota? Okay. You know, they wasn't all they wasn't all there for me. I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> I got you. Know you. I mean? I, 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 nah. but, you yeah, you rock the crowd. But far, yeah. But as far as Omaha and or just like we put together tours and promo promo tours and um, uh, you know, we, we put together tours also. So I perform. I done opened up for for Kevin Gates, man, with, with a yeah. thousand people I was, there. Hey, open up some of them big guys like that. Was, was that, they, cool, like they music or was they different when you met them? You know what I mean? Well, a lot of them, a lot of them be cool, man. A lot of them be be cool. Um, it's just it's just all in, I guess, how they feel in that day. Just like this human, just like anybody, like anybody else. else. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you on that. But did you ever see somebody and you was like starstruck? You know what I mean? Like, man, I'm really on this stage with this guy. Like, I grew up watching him and. Now we write. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Back in uh, I ain't gonna lie. And my phone, hopefully my phone don't die, bro. Man, you good? We gonna ride it out. If it go, it go. If it Man. go, it go. <laughs> but I, I ain't gonna lie. We open. I opened up for Scarface like twice. Uh, the first time oh, I. Oh man! Scarface. Yeah, shouts out to yeah. Matter of fact, shouts out to Scott Lampkins. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people say. Certain shit about Scott, but Scott put me in the game. Scott put me on some good stages at the end of the oh, day. Yeah. All of what work you put in behind it, I guess. Um, you know, Aaron ain't nobody perfect, I guess. But anyway, uh, shout out to Scarface at the end of the day. And he was real cool, man. I had uh, uh, my guy Jay Real had got a song with him back in like 2015. So look that up, Jay Real featuring Scarface. And okay. Pocket okay. But, but anyway, I know Pocket for, I know Pocket yep, yep, yep. <laughs> a few years ago, just on you know, and and uh, I really didn't get to meet him like I wanted to, and then a few shit uh, the next year, 2016, um, I, I went in on a, a tour. You know, uh, I invested on a tour, but won't go into all that. But it, I went in on basically was part of three cities, and the three cities I was part of is Omaha, I mean uh, uh, Lincoln, Des Moines, and Denver, Colorado. We were yeah. at the Rock. And I when I met him, I met him at um I met him at the uh the Roxy. And man, it, it, it was cool, man. He was just real, real cool. I don't mean, you know, was, it, was it was it lean? Was it weed smoke? Was it you know what I mean? Was it like the music? What you mean? You know when them niggas in Texas, they they drink a lot of lean, they uh, smoke a lot of weed. I don't, I don't think he was doing none of that. I don't think he was doing none of that. I'm just saying though, when they travel with that shit. <laughs> Yeah, no, man, I, I, I can't. That nigga in Denver, he ain't got no lean. <laughs> you gotta act that nigga right there. Yeah. See, man, you scream. Yeah. I love that. But, 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 uh, yeah. so, so that was probably Scar Scarface was was probably the uh, biggest one as far as me being involved. And I was yeah, somebody I else, as far as I like pop. Scarface, bro. Huh? Scarface a legend, man. Don't understand yeah. that shit. Scarface is a fucking Scarface legend, bro. And where where are you from? I'm from Georgia. Okay, what well, shit? You from the south? Hey, you, yeah. shit. you know I know about Scarface, <laughs> man. Yeah, that takes his shit. That's why I was yeah. asking. He had some lean with him, but I feel you. <laughs> yeah, this, this ain't no Colorado native, right? Yeah, yeah so, but so so like I said, man. We don't we don't bump uh not bumped heads, but we done like just been been working Omaha um and trying to get Omaha to the next level. And it's just a sometimes you it's ain't a trying, up, brother. You doing yeah, it. As long as the fight going, thank God for the internet. You feel me? That, that we all kind of level the playing field, you know, and, yeah. and make 
what I do a lot easier as far as you know expanding. You know what I mean? No question. You know? No doubt, man. Well, like I say, man, it, it was good seeing you again, brother. I don't know what Crump us he got on the agenda, man. But you, you're awesome, man. Thanks for sharing your gems with us. It's, it's like you, you can't put a value on that type of thing, bro. Like your mind and yeah. your experiences and what you've been through. You've been through. You know what I'm saying? And that's all we trying to do, man. Cheers, man. Real shit. Blood, sweat, and tears. But all it, all day, like I said, Google your boy, uh, Bowler Hustleholic, and pull up on all the, um, um, you know, streaming uh, DSPs. Look me up on all social media. Look up Hustleholic Wear, HustleholicWear.com. You feel me? Tap in. I'm we got ready. We got new T-shirts dropping at the Colabrasca. <laughs> I like it. Collabo. Colabrasca. Collabo. We put together uh, a little, uh, you know, a little something called Colabrasca, man. It went from an idea of um, a show to a tour to, to a tour. You know, yeah. It, it's um, it, it's Colabrasca. It's the hybrid diffusion. So I said, is this show over that we on right now? Oh, no, no, no. It ain't over because we got the next uh, segment of the show called Campus Mess. That's how we going now, bro. You know it. Campus Mess. You know it. And that's where we get a little messy, man. We start talking about shit that people don't really like to talk about. So we about to throw a subject out there, a little topic, and get your take on it and see what we got going down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Campus Mess. Oh, uh, that, God about the, uh, do you know? Are you aware that we just had a shooting in Colorado, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, condolences to the family, man. families, man. Yeah, really? man. Condolences That's to true. the family. Condolences yeah. to yeah. all involved that got affected, man. Whether you got shot or whether you just got scarred for life because of that shit. There, since the shooting, man, another man shooting Colorado. Uh, and this one was, was well, in Boulder. Boulder, Boulder, and it was at the King Supers grocery grocery store, store y'all. So people in there just shopping for groceries, you know, minding their own business, just the day as normal. And, and then the key, the key thing that you said was people. It don't even matter what race. Yeah, nah. right, right, right. And then some cat come up in there. I can't even call him a cat because all cats are cool, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> This this dude, this mom came in there and started shooting up the place, man. And there was 10 people that got killed. Uh all within and that. One one was that. a police officer, right? And one was a police officer. But man. he wasn't one of the ones that got killed. Yeah, the police officer got no, killed. No, I'm talking about the dude that did the shooting. Oh no, the dude that did the shooting, you know, if he had been this guy, this guy. Or this guy. I, I don't know, guy. We want to go there because we don't want to take away from the victims. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we don't want to take away from the victims, but God damn it, this is the Campus Media Room show. Tell the truth, man. All must be we out there, the man. So what do you think about all of this type of stuff, man? Give me your take on this shit real quick, man. Well, first of all, man, like I said, condolences to the family. But yeah, we all know if... I hate to say it, man. Just look at the statistics um, as far as just the, the rate that they shoot us uh, in certain situations. I don't know people that have been shot and chased and, or beat up for less. And you yeah. just killed 10 people and you didn't get shot. Right. First of all, you know, right. like you are you need to die. But they say, let me let me let me shut up because I ain't I ain't God. But in those cases where you're endangering people and you just killed people. I don't know. You know, what do you do? Just keep letting them kill people? You right. Know, but at the end of the day, if it would have been somebody of color, let's just say it, he would have got shot probably. You know what I mean? Uh, it it was it was one of us. It was three of us. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Dude would have got shot. He wouldn't have walked out of there. Listen, he wouldn't have walked out of the grocery store. And this ain't to take nothing away from it's, the it's even, I, I feel you. And it's even more serious than that, bro. Like, he went in there with a gun and did harm to people. We got to worry about being killed on a traffic stop. On a traffic stop. For not having a seatbelt. I so, mean, he had a big gun. It ain't like it. he pulled it out of his pocket. I don't know. He had on no he clothes. Up in there. He had on no clothes, though, bro. They say he just had on a jacket, and when he disrolled, it was just oozy and nothing else. No shit. Because I seen a video of him coming out, and he just had on some shorts. He had on no shoes, no really? shirt, no nothing, bro. Like, That's I don't cool. know. 
You saw the video of uh, them putting them in the in the handcuffs. I uh, seen him with no shirt on, no shoes, no shit. Yeah. So he was really naked. They had to call in for some pants. Uh, I mean, for some no, shorts I, he had some on dog. some shorts, bro. But where you got that oozing from? Like, I mean, how the hell you walk into a crowded grocery store with a Uzi? Anyhow? He had the coat. He had on the coat. They seen he had on the coat. I went there. Let me ask but you I'm, something. Let me ask you something, man. Get yeah. with me. Do you think? If you would have seen this motherfucker yourself, because this is the one thing I was about to say before I even thought of this, you know, um, but look, the, the, the subject at hand is if you would have seen him, like how does, first of all, how does, how do people with all these mass shootings, I'm surprised ain't nobody, don't nobody just shoot these motherfuckers. Like nobody has guns, but everybody's supposed to have a gun, but nobody got a gun when one of these motherfuckers is around. It's First of all, and then, second of all, if you would have seen the motherfucker or you know somebody that's seen this weird motherfucker with a rifle, you know, walking into a store, do you have the right to shoot him? Do you have not, the right? Not, as a, like do you have the right to shoot him or at least apprehend, at least apprehend him? You better be real factual that he was finna come do some damage, cause <laughs> oh my it, God. Like, no, no, no. it could be crazy. It could be a fake gun, per se, right? Then you probably <laughs> get like, no more talk. You just never hear about nobody shooting one of these motherfuckers. I mean, let's yeah. just keep it like yeah. damn. You shot yeah. this motherfucker. All these right, people. Right. Hey, see, they, hey. to do that. they won't do. They won't pull that shit in Phoenix. They won't pull that shit in Texas. You yeah. feel me? Pull that shit hey, a little bolder. Just catching up on what you said, bro. I was in Walmart about three, four days ago. About three days ago, I was in Walmart. And mm -hmm. this dude walking around there with his gun on his hip. The whole oh, holster, you know what I mean? I'm saying that. That's oh, why I'm the public and all that shit. You know what I mean? But, this but that, that's part of the shooting. And he, uh, he at Walmart, what is it like? Look, it's an open carry. I can do this. You know, he was making a statement. But that's what was he having people like him when that cat was over in Boulder. That's all I'm Just because you got a gun, bro, that don't mean you ready for, for shit. When that's true. Around, I'm not saying what I'm going to do. Until I do it. Yeah, man. Well, then, ladies and gentlemen, the people who do need to stop fronting. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, it just, it just, it's just things that you think about. You know, like, damn, how come none of these? Damn, oh, and he, and then my thing is, dude, it, it's it was like seven of them motherfuckers in a week, seven shootings, seven mm. or eight, no eight in seven days. They hit Atlanta. Atlanta. They hit Atlanta. Motherfucker went in the massage parlor. Mm -hmm. So he got tired. He thought the agents did the COVID yeah. shit. So that was retribution. <laughs> Yep, yep. Shout out to uh, the people, man. Condolences. Condolences to the victims, man. Because yeah. we focusing on the guy. We focusing on the criminal and not the families, really. So, you know. Yeah, you gotta always show love to the victim because people mm -hmm. lost love. On. People died. We can't be that insensitive to not acknowledge that people mm -hmm. were killed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then acknowledge that. I, I don't know how to it just. If you sick, is one thing, right? But if you Take it out on other people. That's something else. Okay. Yeah, man, they got to stop using. You don't have the right to harm other people. Yeah, they got to stop using this mental illness as an excuse for why people keep doing this. Type mental of stuff. illness is you know not an mean? excuse. It it's is a cause. It's, yeah. it's a cause and effect thing. Yeah, yeah. But those people need yeah. to. They need to have the proper treatment. It need to be the proper channels in place so those mm -hmm. people can be in and locked up, or they need to be medicated. No, yeah. no question, yo. And so it's you, disaster. No, that's not funny, but you thinking like a you almost like a and I I don't agree with that. I'm gonna keep it real. I don't agree with that extreme. Mm -hmm. Not all locked up and not all medicated. I what, believe they, they, they need a therapy, therapy and they need therapy. They need environment. Look, the environment you put them in makes a big big difference. You know, the environment you put a motherfucker in, and then next like, thing you know, this motherfucker done went crazy because he done had to do this, this and that. Over time, you know, it's like, damn, you know, put them off in the right environment, and uh, you know, just like any 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 other. Uh, you speaking from experience, the black experience, brother. But when we yeah. talk about these crazy ass white people, that's been well, giving yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they got a great environment to grow and blossom, 
and they get mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They broke a up. Lot of them had, uh, yeah, uh, they get mad because Susie up, broke up with them. Yeah, and they go shoot some shit up. Or, or like the other day <laughs> when, uh, when a sheriff up in Florida or uh, Georgia, after the dude killed the, uh, the Asians in the place, he said he had a bad day. He just typically had a bad day. He was at the end of his rope. He was fed up. That's what he said. Those was his words. Got a disconnection notice yeah, from the utility on, company. Who, who, who That's, who a you bad day. Day. That's a bad who, day. The dude who did a bad shooting in Georgia. In Atlanta. Uh, the the Atlanta the, uh, massage parlor. The shout out to Asian yeah. massage parlor. He said he's uh, had a bad yeah. day. Damn, yeah, yeah. Y'all made me depressed. He didn't even try and come up with a legit excuse. Wow. He just said he was having a bad day. His milk was nah, crazy. crazy. Yeah. When he was at the end of his rope. He was fed up. Yeah. That's what he yeah. said. Yeah. I don't know, man. That that's that's something that America gotta deal with. We all yeah. gotta deal with it. something America they gotta deal with for sure. We're Americans, guys. We're <laughs> Americans, guys. I know it doesn't feel like it every day. Yeah, That's why we're fucking right. Americans, too. Hey, we are. We are. So. We just don't make the rule. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to another commercial break. When we come back, we're going to wrap up the show with Boulder Hustleholic. Hustleholic yeah, in the building. I'm going to uh, stand up. We'll be right back <laughs> after this. Omaha, Nebraska. Hood Made University Clothing presents We Came to Make You Laugh, the comedy series. Starring last comic standings, Mickey Carr, Piper the Comedian from Kevin Hart's Heart of the City, Comic View's Al Dipmore, and Omaha's own El Stupo. Hosted by comedian Willie Crow. Saturday, April 3rd at the Elks Lodge, 2420 Lake Street, Omaha, Nebraska. $25 presale, $40 VIP, food included. Tickets available at the Elks Lodge, the Facebook event page, and eventbrite.com. Doors open at 7 p.m. Show starts at 8 p.m. We came to make you laugh this series, Saturday, April 3rd at the Elks Lodge. Don't miss what the city's been waiting for. Omaha, stand up! Right. We back on. We back on. Ask me what I'm doing. Hey, what you doing? We used to be far. You know, all obstacles daily making all dollars equal, baby. Indeed, indeed. That's no problem making all dollars equal. This is the campus video room show. And we got our guest, Boulder Hustleholic, just talking to whomever they may be. We're going to go ahead and wrap up the show, bro. Um, Why don't you tell the people what you got coming up next and tell them where they can find you on social media. Okay, well, shit. Um, tomorrow we got the uh Aries Bash uh at the Gate Ten, Gate Ten downtown, uh downtown Omaha. Um, it, it's one of our new homes for promotion. So, shouts out to the uh, uh Gate Ten. Uh, we celebrating a bunch of birthdays down there and a couple performances. You know, try to try to social distance and and still have fun. I guess you know. So we gonna uh kick that off. Uh, and then what else I got? I got a monthly series, a few monthly series uh, we about to bring back at uh, different places around the Midwest. Um, get your hustle on and Midwest. Um, uh, we got a couple Midwest uh, centered, you know, like competitions. So that's coming up. Um, then I'm about to just probably every six weeks drop music. There's a bunch of music I haven't dropped and a bunch of music that I plan on dropping. Um, just videos and content, so be looking out for that. Bo Hustleholic on all the uh, DSPs. Um, and then, uh, what else? Oh, April 3rd, we on the team to promote. Uh, we came to make you laugh. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, so, indeed. Yes, yes indeed. indeed. So, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta include that. Featuring Willie Crow and, and Hood Man hey, University. Man. Uh-huh. And then, and then uh, what else? Uh, um, uh, June, Juneteenth, uh, be opening up for juvenile, um, and that's like that the, ass up. Yeah, yes, that, sir. So that's like that ass up. Um, at the Malcolm X Center. So y'all can Google that. It'll be juvenile, Miss uh, on Jolie. Um, hold on, bro. I don't mean to stop you. Yeah, I'm gonna have juvenile at the Malcolm X Center. Yeah. So y'all yes, gonna be sorry, that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. 
man. They act like it ain't no black people in Omaha. If that ain't black, if I don't know. If that ain't black. No, you're fucking <laughs> You know I got to fuck with him. Man. Uh, what else, man? Um, We plan on, um, you know, we got to, we're going to do another grand opening for the store. We got a store at the Center Mall. Um, the Hustle Holly Wear store. We're gonna do some, you know, some more stuff up there. Like another grand opening there. Um, you know, we got a cleaning business, a painting business, you know, that, that we do. So I've always kind of dabbled in that. So that's going full speed. Um uh let's see what else, man. Uh just just look, just be looking out, man, and all my social handles. Um, oh, be looking out for that. We just dropped a video tribute to my uh, uh my lost loved ones. Called missing you. It's a tribute. It's uh, after the total remake. Uh, after totals kissing you. So look that up. And then I'm about to drop like three videos in a row. So anyway, but my uh, Bo the Hustleholic on Instagram, Bo the Hustleholic or Bo Hustleholic on all the DSPs. Um, uh, let me see, Hustleholic 402 on YouTube, along with Bo Hustleholic. You can email me the Hustleholic 402 at gmail dot com. Uh, be looking out for the. I'm I'm trying to drag this nigga back in the studio for Kyle Nebraska too. Yeah, the, 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 yeah. the final road trip too. Because uh, you know I do a little thing. Final road trip, road trip face ass. I do a little singing too, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> just let yeah. you know now. This nigga ain't singing. <laughs> let me let me know <laughs> what nigga you want in the studio. <laughs> and, then, and then look, and then look, we got some surprises for Omaha Day. Um. We got a bunch of surprises, man. We just kind of take it easy, really, because of the COVID and make sure yeah. it's all, all makes sense. You can't just be doing shit but just to be doing it, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's 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 basically what it is. But it's just be look, be on the lookout, bro. And I'm I'm gonna be looking out for you. Yeah, you man, already, man. I'm I'm on, a campus a salute, man. Campus salute for both of us. I'm a hot Nebraska, man. Yeah, we yeah, we even got the minutes to campus. Me, you know what I'm saying? Say what's up to the people one more time. Gotta come in the middle. Come on in. Oh, oh, the love guy. Right yeah, little Willie. I love, love you right here. Oh, that's what's up, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's how we're doing it, man. I'm so happy. Daily making all dollars equal. You are tuned in to the Hub University TV. Yeah, man. 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 Yeah, me, Mr. James Van Crump, my brother Willie Crow, the Willie comedian, Crow, baby. and our guest tonight, Bona Hustle Holic, y'all. You know, I can't uh, think of this thing, man. All I need is to play this on campus. That's how we're going to close it on out, bro. Much love, bro. Yes, sir. Love, baby. We get with you, man. <laughs> it's here, man, nigga.